We have been designing Ryan Gold since 2019. So it's sort of been a constant companion for much longer than it was supposed to be. And of course the world changed. And so how we feel or felt about the opera has changed as well. I think one of the biggest things that I changed during the process of evolving some of the themes throughout the pandemic is that I use a little bit more sustainable items in some of the costumes. Yeah. There are some shredded bottles that look like feathers and uh, some cut pieces of CD that we used old CDs instead of beads on the Rhine Maidens. So you see a few things like that that kind of were able to trickle their way through, which was really fun. And then this is another example of reusing VHS tape Maybe. and um, like a, the, you know, 1980s cassette tape to uh, make the costume. <laughs> you know, we have th these large costume pieces. So for example, some of the giant pieces on Votan, headpieces for Donner, and Fricka has this c collar that's just encrusted with feathers and jewels. And what's lovely about them is that we get to see this like, quiet domestic moment with Votan and Fricka. And then it's just a quick transition. They put these things on on stage and they take up so much space and just instantly, you know that these are gods, you know, just beyond politicians and kings. You know, there's something so much bigger than that and they take up enough space and, you know, hopefully people will, the audience will get to enjoy that and they watch these people sing these incredible arias while they're putting on these major costume pieces. It's really fun to, to see it happen. I would love for people to feel as if they've really gone on a journey and they've, you know, they've had this experience, this sort of heightened experience where not only are things beautiful, but they're dark and gritty and they feel connected to the characters.